In this series on how I record, edit, and mix my personal audiobooks, and how you upload your audiobook to YouTube, like I did, hey, in step number 7 out of 10, it's time to export the produced video file into an MP4 video so you can upload that audio track to YouTube. Come on, I'll show you how it's done. In the last video, step number 6, we produced your first audiobook track video using video editing software which allows you to convert all your audiobook audio tracks to video so you could upload them to YouTube. Well, here's a rundown of what we did in the last video real quick. We imported your files, which were two files. One, the audiobook audio track file and your thumbnail image for this video. Okay? Then we dragged those down to the track area where we could adjust the thumbnail perfectly with the audio that we're going to produce the video for. We then chose a few cool transitions for the end and at the start of your video. So it's kind of cool when they play it. Then, after we tested it and it was great, it's time to export your project into an MP4 video. That's right, that you can upload to YouTube. Basically, you would browse for the folder you want to save this video in, you'd give it a title, and then you'd click the Start button. Well, let's pick up from where we last left off, and I'll show you what happens now when we export this as a video for uploading to YouTube. So here we are. You've tested the audio by playing it, and it plays great from start to finish. Well, now it's time to export this project into a video so you can upload it to YouTube. Click the Export button, and by default, the system already knows that you're going to produce and export this video as an MP4 file. We don't need to export as any of these other video formats. No. We just need to choose MP4. Perfect. For the title, it's going to grab the name of this project, which was what? The name of the audiobook track you're working on. Great. Perfect. Then we got to save it to a folder. And where is that folder? Well, that folder is the same folder that you saved this project in and where you imported your audiobook track file and your thumbnail file from. So let's just browse to be sure we're saving this video in the right folder. And I'm just going to go down here. Here's the book. You know, let's say this was your book. Video. Audiobook videos for YouTube. And yes, the welcome and copyright notice and table of contents. That's the folder that we want to save this in. So we'll go ahead and select folder. Yes. Good. All right. And by default, these are probably already set up to export out with the qualifications and the parameters and the specifics that you want. You know, what kind of quality do we want? Well, good is good enough. It's just audio and your thumbnail. Okay. Resolution. 1920 by 1080, that's great, that's high resolution. Duration, this audio track was 2 minutes and 59 seconds, and that's how long the video is going to be. File size, well, it's going to be anywhere between 81 megabytes and 304 megabytes, no big deal. YouTube lets you upload gigabytes of video files. Mm, good stuff. So let's go ahead and hit the Start button. And when we do, watch this. You're going to see this pop-up window. And this pop-up window is going to show you and indicate the saving progress of this project into a video format. Now, this video was three minutes long. How long will it take to save this project into a video? Maybe a minute. Look at this. Remaining time, a minute, 39 seconds. Hey, get up. Go get yourself some water. Do something really quick. Come back. If your audiobook audio track, let's say, was 30 minutes long, you definitely can go make a sandwich, you know, <laughs> go make some coffee, go do something, go uh, whatever. Just come back. And when you come back, there will be a message that says, you know, success, this is done. And that's when you can go to the next step and upload the video to YouTube, which we'll do in the next video. And a few other things too. So check it out. It's still processing. It's still saving. But it's 50% done. Not bad at all. And literally, this is what you do for every audiobook track. You separately and individually build these videos using the audiobook audio file and the audiobook thumbnail. And you 
have those saved inside their respectively named individual folders. I think you can see now why you do these things individually per audiobook track file and you don't clump them all up into one big folder. No, 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 no. Bonus no, no. At least that's my experience. And I've produced 17 audiobooks for YouTube compiling some 650 individual videos on my YouTube channel. I've been through this process enough. Oh, 95%, 96, 97, can we have a countdown? 98, 99. Saving successful. Excellent. Well, that means you have successfully saved this project as an MP4 video that you can upload to YouTube. Congratulations. Now, see this box, it's checked, open output folder. That's kind of cool. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But right now, we can click the OK button and it will open up the folder so you can see the video and watch it play. And really, it's just a video playing. Let's go ahead and here's the folder that's opened up. And here's your MP4 video. And look, it's only 108 megabytes. That's actually not too bad. But this is the video. And if you click it, Hey, and welcome to the audio version for Motivate Yourself to Succeed by Bart Smith, read to you by the author himself. Message from the author. And then at the very end, it fades out. Excellent. We're done. We exported this video into an MP4 video for you to upload to YouTube. All right, let's proceed to the next video tutorial in this series, and I'll show you the next step you should take when it comes to uploading your audiobook, audio tracks to your YouTube channel. Okay, in step number eight, we're going to talk about creating a section and a playlist for your audiobook on your YouTube channel. With sections and playlists, people can easily find your audiobook and start listening to it. Come on, let's check it out.